Hi there Pisces, so I'm going to be doing your reading right now and I'd like to make a note that I also offer personal readings, so if you're interested, please check out the description box below. If you do plan on subscribing, please make sure to hit the notification button, that way you'll get notified whenever I post my videos. And if this reading resonates, please make sure to hit the like button. So I'm going to be doing past, present and future. It's still going to be a love reading, okay Pisces? So let's get the past energy for Pisces, please. Good vibes for Pisces. The Seven of Swords showing up in reverse, okay. The Three of Cups showing up in reverse. And the Five of Swords showing up in reverse. And now the present energy. The Eight of Swords showing up in reverse, look at that. Strength. The Three of Pentacles showing up in reverse. Future energy. Page of Swords showing up in reverse. The Ten of Wands. And the Queen of Pentacles showing up in reverse. Okay, and now the overall. It's the Queen of Swords showing up in reverse. So right off the bat, I see that with the overall energy, I feel like there is no communication towards a specific connection here, okay? Um, like, if someone wanted to speak to you, um, it's showing up in reverse, the Queen of Swords. So that's telling me that you don't want to hear whatever this person has to say. Okay, um, or you're not interested. There could also be manipulation here. But when I clarify this, I'll get a better understanding of what's going on here. But I see you not wanting to be self-deceptive. Okay, with the Seven of Swords, you wanting no conflict. With the Five of Swords in reverse, you not wanting to be stuck in your headspace. Um, so I feel like you are not uh, actively looking for reconciliation here with the Three of Cups showing up in reverse and the Three of Pentacles in reverse for the present energy. Okay, so someone could be trying to um, reconcile. But I don't see you being interested in doing that because I don't feel like you want to be stuck, right, in some sort of cycle here. And I feel like you're remaining pretty strong with strength, brave, um, as you um, move forward here, okay? And with the Page of Swords in reverse, again, that's talking about there not being any sort of uh, communication with a specific energy because I see you moving on here with the Ten of Wands, wanting to uh, walk away from anything that brings in stress. And I feel like uh, in the past, with the Queen of Pentacles showing up in reverse, you put a lot of time and energy into others while you were neglecting yourself. So now I feel like you're trying to move towards um, self-care, right? Wanting to put that energy into yourself because I feel like you deserve it here, okay? Because you were probably very giving in the past. Now it's time to give to yourself. So let's clarify the Queen of Swords in reverse for the overall. You could be actively moving too as well, changing locations. But let's clarify this Queen of Swords energy in reverse. The Knight of Pentacles showing up in reverse. Judgment in reverse. And the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so you could have been dealing with an energy that probably brought in a lot of confusion. Okay, there could have been manipulation. It doesn't necessarily have to be. But it's like you invested a lot of time and energy into a specific connection and you didn't reap the benefits. Okay, with the Seven of Pentacles is talking about investing in something. But it, all it did was bring in confusion. Probably someone not really taking active action um, towards making this connection go further, right? So it's like you wanted something more and you didn't get that. So let's clarify the Seven of Swords in reverse energy for the past. The World card showing up in reverse. I feel like it was hard to detach here, possibly from this, um, the Emperor showing up here, okay? So this Emperor possibly has trouble detaching here. 
But look at you showing up as a queen of wands. So this is you coming across as being very charming, very attractive, but you have your guard up here, okay? Um, so this could have been a very passionate connection between you and this emperor, okay? So... You could have been stuck in some sort of cycle with this person. But let's clarify this Three of Cups in reverse energy. The Nine of Cups showing up in reverse and the Three of Wands in reverse. I feel like you were done waiting for this person possibly to take action because it was making you unhappy here. And look at that. It's the Queen of Pentacles showing up in reverse. So I feel like uh, you didn't want to dwell on this connection because I think it was taking away from your sense of self, right? Where you're putting that energy into taking care of yourself, focusing on your independence. So I, I feel like you realized that that was important, right? For you to gain your independence, to, make, to be able to move forward from this. But let's clarify this Five of Swords in reverse energy. Ten of Pentacles. See, it was the right decision to, to make here. Because I see you uh, moving towards stability, abundance, letting go with the Four of Pentacles showing up in reverse. Temperance, being very patient with yourself, wanting balance. And there you go. That's talking about forward momentum here with the Knight of Wands. And you being very passionate about it, right? That you have to move forward. You have to let go. You need to be balanced. You can't be stuck in your headspace all the time and you want this Ten of Pentacles, right? You got you to gotta go and move forward in order to obtain that. Especially if you were dealing with this very stubborn energy, okay? Um, there is a potential of this person not being able to detach, okay? Uh, but I feel like you're just done waiting with the Three of Wands showing up in reverse. So let's clarify this Eight of Swords energy showing up in reverse. There we go. The Five of Wands showing up in reverse. So I don't feel like you want any conflict whatsoever. Um, with the Five of Swords in reverse and the Five of Wands in reverse. There you go. Letting go of the pain or trying to get over the pain here. Not wanting to be stuck in your headspace, right? Not wanting to be stuck, there we go, in anything toxic with the Devil card here. There was something toxic in this dynamic. Queen of Swords showing up in reverse twice. So there could have been manipulation here, okay? And I feel like this is you not wanting to communicate with the Queen of Swords showing up twice. And it's taking a lot of effort from your side with strength, okay? Really being brave here, putting on a brave face. Two of Swords showing up in reverse. Two of Wands. So this is a choice that you had to make. And wow, look at that. Three Twos. Look at this. Two of Swords in reverse. The Two of Wands and the Two of Pentacles showing up in reverse. So this could have been you having to make an active choice here, right? You could have been stuck at a crossroads. But I feel like there was a sense of openness for change here with the Two of Swords in reverse and you not wanting to be stuck. So the Eight of Swords in reverse plus the Two of Swords in reverse equals Ten. The Ten of Swords, which is showing up in reverse here. Interesting. So let's clarify the Three of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like you wanted balance here. Yeah, there you go. Five of Swords in reverse. Not wanting any sort of conflict. Look at you putting all this... Um, so this... Whatever um, energy that you put, right, towards moving forward, um, you'll reap the benefits with the Seven of Cups here. This is talking about blessings. Right? Knowing when to give your energy towards a specific connection if you're receiving the same amount of love and attention here, right? So with the King of Cups in reverse and the Seven of Cups, right? And the Five of Swords in reverse, this is you like not wanting to self-sabotage. You not want any, one, wanting any sort of conflict here. So I think there's an, a realization on your part, you know, you have a lot of love to give, but it should be towards the right energy here. So this is really talking about blessings with this specific Seven of Cups. So let's clarify the Page of Swords showing up in reverse. The Sun. So someone could be spying on you, keeping an eye on you, but 
this is you moving towards happiness here with the sun card this is the most positive card in the deck here sorry about the sound in the background that's my mom but um ace of pentacles so there is a brand new opportunity in store for you something very positive that brings in a lot of happiness and there you go the high priestess it was about to show up in the reverse but it flipped over so this is you listening to your intuition right no longer having your um, judgment clouded right by manipulation this is you having a sense of clarity so this is you actually moving towards um possibly wanting to heal from this wanting balance or even moving on um so even though it was really hard for you to move on right and you were not quite healed from it i, I still see you actively taking action here um towards yourself okay and with the five of pentacles showing up in reverse really trying to get over being left out in the cold yeah this is you i feel like this is you like moving on even though it's quite hard here with the death in reverse right still quite confused about this situation but I feel like your intuition is telling you something. There is a brand new opportunity for you, right? There is something very positive in store for you. But let's clarify this Queen of Pentacles showing up in reverse. So this is really talking... There we go, the Four of Wands. This is really talking about stability. Um, the Hermit healing. There we go, the Moon... You'll see all this effort that you put into yourself will pay off, okay, in the end. So this is really talking about a brand new opportunity in love, okay? Um, so as you're moving forward, I realize it's hard. You have to heal. You have to put yourself back together again. I feel like your, your intuition is telling you something. There's happiness in store for you. This is you really getting over being left out in the cold, even though it was quite hard, right? But I see uh, that as you put in that care into yourself, there is stability with the Four of Wands. This is talking about healing with the Hermit, the Moon, right? Things being brought out into the clear. But it's possible that you may not be able to see, right? So this could be hidden from you. But this is talking about a brand new beginning in love. This is also talking about self-love as well and healing. So it doesn't necessarily have to mean that you're going to be in another connection because you got to put in the work first, right? But this could also be talking about um, stability and you putting that love into yourself um, and reaping the benefits. But there's a potential of a commitment as well, okay, for the future. All right. So that's my reading for you, Pisces, and I'll see you next time. Take care now.